Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. we share some days as your daughter has sung. We are here today, it's all by your grace. Father, those that have died and met themselves in a place where they never dreamed of, of meeting themselves, have no cause, oh God, to, to, to invite you, have no cause to summon you. Father, we are alive, oh God, is for us to think about our yesterday. Measure it with today and know the kind of life we will live. Lord Jesus, that's why we are here this morning, that you might direct us of the kind of life we ought to live today to your glory. Yeah. Father, as we have prayed that whatever will ever turn us to your enemy, Father, take it away. And I know the only thing that can turn a man to your eternal enemy is sin. Speak to me and speak to me to the end that we all we said to see you on the last day in glory in Jesus Christ mighty name Amen, Amen. Praise Master Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah We have a message this morning titled Sin Sin An agent of death Sin An agent of death or better still, the end point of sin. The end point of sin, or sin, an agent of death. As we have just prayed just now, that whatever that will turn us against God, let that thing be taken away. But the Lord is telling me and you, there's nothing else that will turn me and you against Him, rather than sin. The only thing that turns man against God is our sin. If you and I can avoid sin, brother, if you and I can avoid sinning, you and I will become friends, children of God forever. And there's no other way the Lord God Almighty will appreciate you or pay you or pay me with righteousness when we are living in sin. The only agent of death, when I'm talking about death, I'm not talking about just sleeping off. I mean eternal death, eternal destruction, is sin. And for you and I not to die a perpetual death, a death of regret forever, we must determine this hour to live our life in holiness. And know that day has come again now. For you and I to determine where we'll end our life forever. The Lord have given you opportunity. He have given me opportunity to think now. What kind of life will I live again today? Where would I want to end my life? Do I want to be a friend of God or his enemy? This is the time again to determine. And the Bible told you and I in Romans chapter 6 verse 23. For the way this of sin is dead. Nothing more. God cannot use life to pay you when you work for death. 
God can, is a holy God. He can never use eternal life to pay somebody who worked for eternal death. Whatever you work for, whatever I work for, where I'm living, that is exactly what God will use to pay me and you on the last day. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God, which is righteousness, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The wages of sin, I'm repeating it again, so that if you are planning to do evil today, you will know what you are planning for your own self. If you are planning to hurt somebody today, as you wake up, your heart is making big, 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 big. How to hurt somebody? How to do something against somebody? You better know what you are planning for your own self now. What you are actually saying to yourself is that you want to die a perpetual death. That sister offended me. You slept it over. Your heart is still boiling against that person. You are only telling yourself you want to die and go to hell. Because that is what God used to pay you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, yeah. The Bible told us in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. Let not your heart deceive you. You that is still keeping malice. You that is still living an angel's life. You that is still doing evil. And you are still planning to do the evil today. After God has spared you overnight, He never allowed the demon to kill you of the one you did yesterday. You still want to continue. He's telling you now. The wages of sin is dead, as I told us. Uh, be not deceived. Don't let your heart deceive you. For God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, so shall he reap. He that sow in sin will, re will reap death. He that sow in righteousness will reap eternal life. The choice is ours. We are on the mountain now to decide what kind of life we want to live today again. Uh, whatever we decide now is what God will use to pay us for the time come. Psalm chapter 145 verse 20. Psalm 145 verse 20. The Lord preserved all them that love him, but all the wicked will be destroyed. Who are the wicked people? Any sin you see make you to become a wicked person before God. It's not until you use God to kill somebody that make you a wicked person. Whenever you and I sin against God, automatically the Lord rates us as wicked people. And He's telling you and I now the end point of a wicked man is destruction. The end point of a sinner is for God to destroy such. So it thank God we still have the breath of life now. We have prayed, Father, anything they want to take, turn us against you, take it away. It's not left for all to determine. To decide if we want to make ourselves against ourselves, we cannot fight God. You cannot even become God's enemy. You are, if you are living in sin, you are your own self enemy. If you are living in iniquity, you are telling yourself, I am your enemy. Nobody can be an enemy of God. It's either we are afraid of ourselves, loving God, or we are enemy of ourselves living the sin god is already who he is it's unchallengeable be his enemy be his friend does not add or surprise anything from him whatever we do is for our own self whatever a man so so shall he reap we are not sowing for god to reap again he self-existed god so whatever you choose to do do it well I have not come to beg you to live sin alone. I'm only come to beg you whatever you are choosing to do today, do it very, very well. For the real world is yours to enjoy. Praise Master Jesus. Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, There's something God will not fail to do. He said in Matthew 25 and 46, and this shall go away into everlasting punishment. Who? Those who will meet him in iniquity. Those who will meet him in sin. It is imperative. Many people must die today. And I pray that will not be you. So people must end up their life today. No matter how we pray. All over the world, thousands and hundreds must die today. 
And if they need God in sin, He will give them their rightful wages. Many died yesterday. Many more died today. The angel must tell some people, get out and never knew you today. Then will you end yourself? And I tell you, no matter how we pray, one day, one day, we must surely die. If rapture tarry, you and I must surely die. We are not better than those who are dying. Nothing makes us be better. It's just by the grace of God for all to determine again. Do I still live the life I left today? If you live the life you left yesterday, live yesterday was good. Thank you, Jesus. Increase on it. But if the life you live yesterday would have said it to her, you better know what to do. Because you will not come before God in sin and say, Oh, welcome, my son, with all the load you carry. Okay, help me. Uh, uh, never. The God that I know is not the biased God. He will give you your rightful wages. And the wages of sin is then. I said, But the righteous into life eternal it is spread out. In Matthew 25, verse 46b, the righteous, the holy one, we enter into everlasting life. You not choose now. Will you want to enter everlasting life? Or eternal destruction? Maybe yesterday, in your office, they have told you, go on, or you get to go and think about it. This is the contract we'll give to you. And you know that the contract is an iniquity contract. And they'll give you Go and think about it. You have thought about it. You are going not to tell them, I accept it. You are just telling them, I accept that destruction. Maybe you had the opportunity yesterday to do something. To add one to two, to make it 20. You went home to think about it. Thank God, God did not strike you yesterday. He has given you opportunity to go and think about that info you want to do. You have talked about it. It's not left for you to go and execute it. It's not left for you to know the kind of life you will live today. The world is so big for us. Live whatever life you want to live. But I tell you, everything has payment. If you live your life in sin, you, you will pay yourself with debt. If you live your life in holiness, you will also pay yourself with eternal life. It's not left for me to decide the kind of life I will live now. It's an opportunity to know, to decide if I will live in hatred, or live in malice, or live in pride, or live in hopefulness and holiness. It's, it's my choice to make. The Lord has brought you and I to the mountaintop and look down. What kind of life, when I step down today, what kind of life will I live? The choice is yours. The choice is mine. The Bible told us in Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 28, the soul that liveth, it shall die. The soul, sorry, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. He has told us. We don't need prophet to tell you again. Professor, upon you, if the soul that sinned, it shall die. It is the reward. The reward of sin is death. The end point of sin is that irrespective of the sin. Not that the soul that fornicated, the soul that hated, the soul that lied, the soul that sinned shall die. He that knoweth the right thing to do. And do it, it not. It's a sin. He will die. If you know the right thing to do and you refuse to do it out of stubbornness, you are supposed to repent of that sin. You are still, you are still holding on. You are just telling yourself, I want to die and go to hell. I don't know who God is talking to this morning. You have been living the sin. The Lord has been watching you. A time is coming. Your time will elapse on earth. And you will face your duty word. The soul that sin it, it shall die. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. James chapter 1, 14 to 15. 
table. Every man is tempted when he is drawn away in his own lust. Every man is tempted when he is drawn away in his own selfishness. That sinful job you want to take now is, is your own selfishness. You are behind, maybe you are a youth, listen to me right now. You are behind that girl. And today now you are made up your mind. And if today I will just talk to her now. To so start fornicating. Your lust, your, your, your selfish desire is dragging you to hell. They have been telling you, hey, if you don't do this, just send it, you will make money. You are do not drag yourself to hell now. You will enjoy for two days. And if after the third day you die, you will end up in hell. There's no other wages but death. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust, selfish desire, and enticed. Then when lust has conceived, when lust is pregnant, after maybe the grace that was given to you to dwell, to, to give back to that lust, it's maybe... Some people may be a, just one day. Some people 30 minutes. Some people maybe one year. You will surely give birth to what you, you are pregnant of. When loss have conceived, it give birth, I'm paraphrasing, we give birth to sin. And when sin is done, when you want to come, hey, praise the Lord. And child dedication, you will dedicate your soul to her. The dedication she will make you to do as people that give birth will dedicate their children is for your soul to be dedicated to Satan in hell. When sin is finished, bring get forth eternal death. The choice is yours. The choice is mine. You are lost, you, you are lost after something now. You are being crafty. I am thinking you are using wisdom. I, I am a wise man. You are using one to, to make 20. You are manipulating. And I are saying, hey, I am, a, I am a very intelligent man. No problem. But intelligence will destroy you. Yeah. The is mine. The is yours. Please, Master Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. From the yeah. very beginning, the Lord God Almighty have never stopped to warn humanity. Just as He's warning you and I this morning now. He have never stopped. He have never stopped to chastise those He lost. He woke your eye up now and bring God to the mountain. To remind us of what sin and righteousness is. That was the way He was always talking to Adam and Eve when He created them. Adam, remember. That tree there, if you eat it, the end point is dead. If remember, I've warned you, but if it's not your choice to either eat it or not eat it, go will never hook in and be watching you know. Those days, my mother would tell me, uh, He's here, I say, Man, the mouth I have, I will use to talk to my children. I will only use mouth to talk to you people. This month I have. And that is it. A child that has wisdom, with, with big of eye, he knows what to do. God has used force to speak. He has used parable to speak. He has used all to speak. But we are still dwelling in sin at the end. We say, oh, Father, have mercy. Let us have mercy on ourselves now. And pursue a man who says, have mercy on your own soul now. Whatever sin you are committing, remove your hand now. Have mercy upon your own soul now. Minister Ferdinand, have mercy upon yourself now. It's the mercy we have on ourselves that God Almighty will use to work for us. He told them in Genesis chapter 9, verse 2, but of the tree, of the garden. No, Genesis chapter 2, rather. Genesis chapter 2, verse 17. 
For of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. The same thing is telling you now. My daughter, my son, stop sinning. In the day you will die without sin, you will go to hell. My children, stop living in hatred. Hatred will send you to hell. My children, stop living in fornication, fornic adultery, whatever sin you are living in. Stop it or else it will send you to hell. No mercy after death. Oh. The mercy that God will show you, Anana, is to make us to wake up this morning and decide. Why some people are saying, Father, have mercy upon me for this night committed yesterday. Some people are planning the one they will do now. Even as we are confessing now, where Sister Grace was leading prayer just now, people will confess, hey, Father, have mercy. Some people are still thinking of the effort we do today. So people are still, so people are still imagining the evil they will do against people. How they will scatter people's marriage. People are still thinking about it. Why some people are saying, Father, have mercy. I promise the one I did yesterday. And I tell you, people have been asked for mercy for the past 50 years, 2,000 years. No mercy for them again. They are in that pit of hell. If you and I also decide to go there, God had no problem about that too. <laughs> my brothers, my sisters, God has no problem about that. It is our choice to make. Well, go to hell because of what you are looking for. Hey, I need this thing. No matter, no matter the cost. Even the, even if the cost is your also, you need it. Take it over. You need it. Take it. But I tell you. That thing you need does not need you. When you shall be paying for what you need now, that thing you need will be handed over to somebody else. What you go to her, to, to her for? Please, my sisters, my brothers, it's another day again to decide where we will end up our lives. So many people are deciding in hell. Their decision make nothing. As we are talking now, as God gave me this opportunity to speak to myself this morning, some people I have say, repent for their kingdom, but they are saying it now. What well, they never did on earth here is opportunity for you and I not to go out there to evangelize now, to do the right thing. Some people are doing it in hell, or nobody cares. Children of God. Decide this day, right now, the kind of life you will live. But I tell you, as um, Joshua told the people, choose ye this day who you will serve. As for me and my house, who will serve the Lord. I have known the difference between righteousness and holiness. I have known the difference between those who die in sin and those who die, die in righteousness. The Lord God Almighty, in His mercy, have opened my eyes a little bit to see how hair looked like. I wouldn't want to go there. And He have also shown me how that wonderful place looked like. I wouldn't want to go there. I wouldn't want to go to hell, or rather up there. The choice is yours. Where do you want to spend your eternity? The ticket of sin will not take you to heaven. It's not possible. It's better you die in poverty and live as our brother, the Lazarus, than you live as a rich man and end up. Lazarus now for the... Jesus Christ gave that, gave that story 2,000 years ago, more than 2,000 years ago. Somebody had been in heaven since then, you know. And that rich man, see, that time, has been in hell. A time is coming when you fall into eternity, there you will be forever. Uh, I tell you, eternity is closer than. Hey, let me quickly go to the bedroom. Eternity is closer than going to bedroom. 
Once you die, you will want to wake up again. You can never wake up again. Whatever ticket you buy for yourself is what you submit to God on that day. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Save in heaven. The ticket is yours. Jerusalem, this is opportunity to decide where you want to live. Apostle Manuel, it's another time of decision to decide if I want to go to heaven or I want to go to hell. Nobody should, I cannot choose for my wife. She cannot choose for me. I cannot choose for my ministers. They cannot choose for me. It's left for me and for you to decide. Praise Master Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. I'm ending now. Proverbs 11, verse 19. As righteousness tends to life, as righteousness tends to life, and the compass of righteousness will direct you to life. So, he that pursues evil, pursues it to his own death. This is a confirmation. As righteousness will drive you into eternal life. So, you that is pursuing evil, that thing you are pursuing will send you to hell. You are, all you are doing is to make sure that marriage is scattered. It's to make sure you, yeah, you hurt that person. It's to make sure you gain what you, what you need by craftiness. You are pursuing evil. The evil will send you to eternal destruction. This is the word of the it's a proverb. Now it's not left for Apostle Emmanuel. Brother Peace, Brother Daniel. To be their own self. Open the, open the proverb. And know what to do. He that liveth in righteousness. Save his own soul. As righteousness tended to everlasting life. So he that pursues evil. He that keepeth malice, he that forfeits, he that lieth, he that, he, 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 whatever they sin, he that doeth it, doeth it for his own destruction. The way of sin is dead. The gift of sin is eternal life. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Also belong to God and also determine where you want to live. Ezekiel chapter 18 and 4. So as soon as it shall die. I want you to open your mouth and determine now. Whatever you whatever you determine now is what God will empower you to do. You determine to live in sin, and that Satan will empower you. Maybe you want to go and hurt your man now is to go and poison somebody today in that office. Satan will empower you. Determine it and give Satan the power by your soul. Maybe your own man is to have to go and lie against, against, your, against somebody in that office so that you will climb. No problem. Satan will empower you. Maybe your own is how to say, Father, the one I've done already is, is enough. Wash it away. I want to live my life in holiness. The Spirit of God will also empower you. It's a time of decision. Open your mouth now and decide. And God will help you, or Satan will help you in the other way. The choice is yours. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, my Lord Jesus. My Father, my God, this is Lord Jesus, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, 
I to live my life in holiness and righteousness. I to live my life in your fear. Father, I know that the grace will see of death. Father, I don't want to die in the name of Jesus. I don't want to make myself in my life. I don't want to live my life in my life. I don't want to die as a sinner. I don't want to die as a sinner. I want us to quickly pray. It is written for whatever in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. God is not mocked. You cannot bread them. Whatever a man soweth, so shall he reap. We will pray, Father, every seed of sin we have ever sowed. And they have germinated. They are even bearing fruit, waiting for us to come and reap it in hell. Father, in your mercy, let that tree be uprooted. Forgive us. Have mercy upon us. And let the tree be born down in the name of Jesus Christ. Open us and pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, the God of Jesus, we pray. Every seed of sin and ever so do God. Every sin of iniquity, of fornication, why I was a child, I was a young, I was a YouTuber, sin of lying, sin of whatever, of adding one to make it 20. Father, have mercy upon me. God, food of God is waiting for me to read it to God. Father, have mercy and let it be for me to die of the weather. In the name of Jesus Christ, have mercy on my word. Have mercy on my word. Have mercy on my sins, on my friends, on my evil so God. Have mercy upon my friends out there. Have mercy upon my Lord. Have mercy upon everyone. Have mercy upon my sister. Have mercy upon my loved ones. Have mercy upon my family. Have mercy upon my Lord. Have mercy upon my family. Have mercy upon my Lord. Have mercy upon my family. Have mercy upon my Lord. Have mercy upon my family. Have mercy upon my Lord. Have mercy upon my family. Have mercy upon my Lord. Have mercy upon my family. Have mercy upon my Lord. Have mercy upon my family. Have mercy upon my Lord. Have mercy upon my family. That I'm missing on me, I destroy everything in law that I've done in law when I was living in the sea. Father, Lord, I bring your daughter before you. Have mercy upon the Lord, 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 Lord Jesus, change her law. Let her know. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you out there? You are not born again. It's a choice to make the decision again. If you will live for Christ, be born again, or live for your own selfish desire, and at the end, end up in hell. The choice is yours. But I help you to choose. Choose the way of God. Repent. For the time is running late. Say after me, if you want to accept Jesus Christ, I shall not accept Savior this morning. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word. As a father will speak to the children, so you have spoken to me this morning. I am a sinner on his way to hell. But your light has shone upon me in my darkness. Have mercy upon my soul. Forgive me all my sins. I have made a decision this morning to leave the world of sin alone and to embrace righteousness. Take my name away from the book of death 
and let my name be written in the book of life. I renounce the devil and all that concerns him this morning. And I announce today the Lord Jesus Christ from henceforth you are my Lord and personal Savior. My heart is open. Come in and dwell. Thank you for saving my soul. I go now to see no more. So help me God. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pray with you if you have confessed this confession. My Father, my God, this chance of this, I thank you. You have spoken to us, your children. And those that were also in darkness have heard the message. And they have decided to leave the darkness alone and to embrace your light. Father, I ask, oh God, the grace to continue. Never to go back again. It released upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We are meet, oh God, in this journey. Strengthen us. Empower us for us not to be the first that later became the last in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I pray, oh God, this message will not be used against me yeah. or against the hearer, but rather it will be a propeller that will propel us, oh God, to your kingdom. Mm -hmm. Help us to live a holy and righteous life today. Mm -hmm. It's a life. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before I leave the video, I want to, to I want us to quickly pray for somebody. I see somebody that the enemy have determined two things. It's either they make the person fall down, 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 or they kill the person. This is the two things they have they have chosen. It's either and this, I don't to uh, talk more. The person might be your sister, might be your brother. It might be you, if I can tell. I want us to pray, Father, whoever on this mountain or within our family that the enemy have vowed, they will never want to see this person laughing, not even smiling. Mm -hmm. The time is either they kill this person or they make this person. There is a very long piece they have dug. And this place will fall into that pit and nothing will rescue this person to that pit forever. Yes. Father, arise, oh God. Mm -hmm. Father, this person mm -hmm. from this horrible decision that the enemy have made. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> I also, I also saw one young man carrying bags, and that bags are bags of confusion. Hmm. Bags of confusion. About three, three to four bags. Bags of wherever you go, confusion will be there. Yes. This person is smart, he's so cool, he's so very, very humble, but the enemy have given him back to be carrying, carrying bags of confusion. And it's also somebody that I saw, when you, when you were home, your uncle slept with you. Because of that, things are so difficult for you. You need to confess to your mother or to your father what your uncle did to you.
your it was your 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 mother brother that slept with you. You need to confess to your mother. Yes, what you are going through, nothing will deliver you. All you need is confession. So when we pray, that brother that's carrying a bag of confusion wherever he goes, Father, in your mercy, remove that bag from that person. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mother, pray. And now we are the righteousness of Jesus. We are busy with him. Holiness and righteousness, and you die tomorrow. Joy is yours forever.